In the ever-evolving world of energy, stocks can sometimes take unexpected turns. Today, we'll dive deep into the story of Fuel Cell Energy Incorporated, a company that's seen its share price tumble over the past five years. But is there more to this story than meets the eye? Let's uncover the layers behind the numbers. All right, let's take a look at the news. Fuel Cell Energy Incorporated, trading under the ticker NASDAQ, FCL, has experienced a significant decline in its share price over the past half decade, plummeting by a staggering 86%. And if you think that's rough, consider this. Even those who invested just a year ago have felt the sting, with the stock dropping 60% in that short span. Over the last 90 days, shareholders have faced a 15% decrease in the share price. Now, while these numbers might paint a bleak picture, it's crucial to delve deeper and understand the nuances. Despite the losses, there's a silver lining. Fuel cell energy, although not profitable at the moment, has showcased a commendable revenue growth, clocking in at an average of 8.9% annually over the past five years. This is intriguing because rapid revenue growth often signals the potential for substantial profits in the future. So, the question arises, why has the stock declined despite such promising revenue growth? Fuel cell energy is no stranger to the investment community. Analysts have long been trying to forecast the company's profit trajectories. Yet, the returns have been less than encouraging, with shareholders witnessing an average annual loss of 13% over the past five years. Market conditions, external factors, and internal dynamics play a pivotal role in a stock's performance. In Fuel Cell Energy's case, there are four warning signs that investors should be wary of. While the article doesn't specify these warning signs, it's essential for potential investors to be vigilant and conduct their due diligence. Now, let's talk about valuation. The stock market is a complex beast and determining whether a stock is overvalued or undervalued can be a challenging task. However, comprehensive analyses are available that can shed light on fuel cell energy's valuation. It's always recommended to approach such analyses with a critical mind and not take them at face value. In conclusion, while fuel cell energy might not be the top pick for investors right now, it's essential to remember that the stock market is vast. There are numerous growth stocks out there that might offer better prospects. But as always, thorough research and analysis are paramount before making any investment decisions. And remember, this article is general in nature and shouldn't be construed as financial advice. Always align your investments with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Now let's discuss the upcoming trading session surge signals for the stock on August 14, 2023. We have upward surge signals at $1.89, $1.91, and $1.94, and downward signals at $1.84, $1.81, and $1.79. What do these numbers mean? These surge signals represent potential price points that could confirm a directional move for the stock. If the stock approaches or breaches the upward signals, it could indicate a bullish trend, suggesting that the stock might continue to rise. Conversely, if the stock nears or crosses the downward signals, it could signify a bearish trend, hinting at a potential decline. For instance, if the stock price hits $1.89 and continues to rise, it could further surge past $1.91 and even $1.94. On the flip side, if the stock drops to $1.84, and doesn't show signs of recovery, it might further decline to $1.81 or even $1.79. These signals are crucial for traders as they help in making informed decisions based on potential price movements. That wraps up our deep dive into Fuel Cell Energy Incorporated and its intriguing journey in the stock market. If you found this analysis insightful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth discussions. And here's a question for you. What do you think is the future of fuel cell energy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get the conversation started.